this episode and the next episode of Steven Universe, uh, I recorded a few days ago, and the audio like corrupted essentially. It it didn't pick up my audio in OBS uh, when I was recording, so the entire reaction from me is silent. So I'm going to be doing a reaction to my reaction of the episode, and so it won't be a first time watch, but you'll be able to see my first time reaction in this video you just won't be able to hear it and i'll try and commentate over this video as well give my review try to remember things i was talking about if i can and uh yeah that's the idea anyways so i apologize um i won't make this mistake again i'll double triple check every time but for this episode and the next episode it's just going to be like that but um yeah anyways we are on season three episode 12 sorry for this weird setup we're doing here it's just temporary like i said um but yeah Season 3, episode 12 of uh, Steven Universe. We have Restaurant Wars. Um, uh, I pause immediately. Okay, I, I, I think I was questioning like what restaurants are going to be at war. But, you know, there's only like two restaurants and it's the pizza place and the fry place. So, you know. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, the way the mozzarella sticks were drawn here uh, made it look like 8 or 16-bit. Like, they looked pixelated, which I found really funny. Ah. Uh-huh. Yep, your competition is getting you. I think I was saying, like, you know, they're right next to each other, so what do you mean? But it's because it's like a pizza. Dude, I love that reveal so much. I love that you can't even be outside. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like outlaw territory. He's a the pizza. He's, hey, at least he's not Frybo anymore. Frybo was terrifying. Lore. I love the lore dump here. Yep. Because he ordered off the secret menu. Yep. Yep. Bro's got Heelys. Dude, I want Heelys so bad. I never had Heelys as a kid. And back when they were popular. Um, and now that I'm an adult, I can go and buy them myself. And I'm kind of tempted. Even though they're not cool anymore and people don't really like them. I've always wanted to have Heelys. So maybe. Yeah, that's so dumb. An elite making an allegiance is like so overboard <laughs> for a restaurant war like this. Yeah, and getting branded too. Yeah, I forgot about that bit. Why on earth? You know, how like people get branded as traitors. Why would you want to be branded as a VIP either? That's like a, no, that's awful. That is permanent allegiance. Hearts and minds. Now we're getting to the more psychological stuff, if I remember. Yeah. Steven, how do you think we feel? Do you know how many battle concerts I've missed because of this war? How many? Mm, one. <laughs> you know how much blogging I haven't been able to do? No one cares. I mean, look, I mean, good for you for wanting to blog. You know, I gotta give respect to Ronaldo for doing what he likes, but nobody cares about his blog, man. Fair enough. No way. I love the way he talks. He talks like a Redditor Discord mod. See, look at, look at my face. Like, I do not believe him at all. And why should I, to be honest? I mean, he just doesn't seem like the... I mean, look, there's someone for everyone, right? 
And clearly, Ronaldo is proof of that when his girlfriend shows up later, which I am just in disbelief of when it happens. Um, But, uh, hey, you know what? Just the way he is and how cynical he is about everything, I'm surprised he can hold a relationship. It has nothing to do with his obsessions. It's more just, like, the way he is. But also, like, if you get a hookup with Kiki, I mean, like, too broad hookup with Kiki, you kidding me, bro? Exactly. Now, I did say all that before uh, finding out he actually had a girlfriend. And I feel so bad when she shows up. <laughs> In a way I can tolerate. Yeah, no, Kiki cannot tolerate him. Yeah, I can't believe this actually worked, by the way. Like, it actually worked. Them setting up this fake relationship actually worked until, boom. I was in disbelief when she showed up, man. <laughs> and I feel so bad for her because now she just, like, Ronaldo just lost her. And Ronaldo wasn't even, like, cheating on her at all. It was just all for show, all for a play to end the restaurant war. And I, I feel so bad for her and Ronaldo, of course, but, like, her especially because she doesn't know... Yikes. I <laughs> stupid Healy's. <laughs> oh? Ah, so it was like, it was a monopoly. Right, yeah, yeah, right. So the Everything Cafe, or whatever she called it, Monopoly. See, Monopolies are terrible, man. Oh? Let's get cooking. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I was talking about um, seeing Garnet as a waitress. Because we've done so many Beach City episodes recently. Just smaller scale, low stakes, nothing really like battles or anything. Episodes that it's just weird seeing the Crystal Gems uh, back around. Because we haven't seen the Crystal Gems really in action in a while. Um, Garnet Amethyst or Pearl. And not even in action, just not really present. I mean, we had Pearl a few episodes ago with one of the best episodes ever. But, like, Garnet, and especially Amethyst. Amethyst has been very absent. Um, but, yeah, we've just been focusing on the people of Beach City, and I really appreciate that for these recent episodes. It just It's a nice, like, dive down after the whole cluster arc that we had. And I'm sure we'll be building up to something soonish. But this just time in Beach City with the Beach City people is really nice, and I do really like it. Um, that's pretty much what I was talking about here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, good stuff. Hello, gentlemen. May I take your order? I mean, it's, a piece on a bagel could be good. I've never had it, but apparently it's immaculate according to these guys, but... Um... I eat fries without ketchup all the time. I don't like ketchup. <laughs> True. It's they have to team up, come back together. Ah, gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed your meal. Is there something I can help you with? Steven, we didn't want to have to do this. I'm just gonna beat the crap out of him though. 
I love how sassy he is. Steven is so much here for his age, and I love it so much. Just Onion. That's one person. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. Not for him, though. He's got a war with his heart. I feel so bad for him, man. Especially for doubting him. Yeah, this was an episode I really enjoyed. Like I said, I, I really like these down-to-earth, more Beach City, just focusing on the people episodes. It's a nice breather, I suppose. And we just get to flesh out the characters, the people of Beach City, a lot more. Because we really haven't done too much of that. Clearly, they're present, and we know them. But, like, they're not really actively present all the time. They're not really, like, big characters. But now we're starting to focus on them a lot more. And I really appreciate that. Um, but this episode was really good. It's just it's nice, the whole restaurant war, war. And with the war, we got some lore dump with that. So that was pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, just overall, this was a very fun episode. I really like it. Simple, down-to-earth. Um the whole rivalry and stuff between them and yeah i don't know it's just it's a nice fun episode it, it really just it helps flesh out the characters of beach city a lot more that's what this uh episode does really well in my opinion um and sure the plot line's very good you know the plot line's fun to follow and stuff but like for the most part like it just i don't know it just helps you care more about these characters it gives more more of the character's depth, right? Um, like the owners of the two restaurants. Like, you know, they're just kind of there the, as the father figures. Um, but now they actually have lore about, like, characters that they are. Or, like, Ronaldo now has a girlfriend that we didn't even know about. He adds more depth to his character. And so on and so forth. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. This just added a lot more depth to the characters. And I really appreciate that. Um it's a good world building episode, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It was a lot of fun. Very entertaining to watch. It's just a good watch. I really like these kind of episodes. So, um, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.